Hey, glad you could join me for midweek. You know, one of the things that I like about the Psalms is that I can always find a Psalm that reflects some of the emotions I might be feeling, whether it's happy or sad or torn or uh, perplexed, whatever I'm feeling, there's a Psalm that I can relate to. But one of the other things I like is that it also gives us things that we can do uh, to live a life that's pleasing to God. And in Psalms 37, um, in the first seven verses, there's five things that God talks to us and wants us to know, um, things that we can do that's going to make our life better with Him. So let me dive in and read that. Do not fret because of those who are evil, or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like the green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. So let's take a minute and unpack that and see maybe uh, some of those things can apply to your life. As you know, as I was reading through that, there were a lot that applied to my life that I think, yeah, I need I need to get back to that. And, oh, maybe I need to stop doing something else. So the first thing we see is do not fret because those who are evil or be envious who those who are doing wrong. So that word fret, um, it's kind of an old word. Uh, we don't use it a lot today. But that's a, it's a corrosive or eating away at you. So... When we see people who are uh, evil, don't let that eat away and gnaw at you on the inside. And don't be envious of those who do wrong. You know, sometimes we feel like that we're doing everything right or we're doing everything that God wants us to do and we're still having these hardships or maybe we feel like we're suffering. And then we see people who really don't give God the time of day and their life seems to be sailing away. But you know, God calls us to be near and dear to Him. Um, and it, in verse 2, it says, For like the grass they will soon wither, and like green plants they will soon die away. So their time is coming, those people who are doing evil and who are doing wrong, and the thing that we can do is not be envious of them and not to let it gnaw away or not to fret over those kinds of things. And how can we do that? Well, the second thing is trust in the Lord and do good. Doesn't that sound simple to do? But you've been around long enough to know that, you know, that's not always the case. Um, sometimes it's hard to trust when we don't see a reason for things or um, they don't make sense to us, but trust in the Lord. And while we're trusting, do good. Just don't do bad stuff. Do good, not only for you, but do good for others. While you're trusting in God that he's going to take care of you and work things out in your life, do good as you're living life. And then the next thing in verse 4, it says, Take delight in the Lord. So how many things in our lives do we really take delight in that we just uh, are so excited to, to see those things? You know, if you're like me, usually I get real excited about things when things are new. But then after I've had them for a while, the newness wears off. Uh, you know the drill. So we're looking for something else bright and shiny and new to come into our life to delight in. But we need to take delight in the Lord because He is fresh and new every day. We just have to meet with Him, spend time with Him, 
and worship Him on a regular basis so that we can take delight in the Lord. And as we're taking delight, verse 5 says, Commit your ways to the Lord and trust in Him. So as you're going about life, are you committed to what you think is right or what makes you feel the best? Or are you committing your ways to the Lord, wanting to please Him in your actions and in your words? And one of the hard parts is in our attitudes. Are we committing our ways to the Lord? And are we trusting in Him as we're going along? And we've already talked about that a little bit, about that it's hard to trust sometimes when um, we don't see a purpose or a plan or we don't know where the road ahead of us lead, is leading. But that's why we commit our ways to the Lord and trust in Him. And then the last thing it says, and this may be the hardest thing to do for you and I know for me, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Man, that's so hard to do, um, to just be still before God. Um, I don't know if you've ever just sat there and decided that you weren't going to move until you sensed God's peace in your heart and in your mind. Sometimes five minutes can seem like a, a really long time to wait for the Lord. But we need to be still and wait patiently for Him. Those are two things we don't like to do in today's society. We don't like to wait, and we really don't want to wait patiently. Um, you know, uh, with all the things with drive throughs right now and how backed up they are, it just seems like you're always waiting in a line. But are we patiently waiting before God and just to still our hearts and our minds before Him? That can give us such great peace and great hope because we're trusting in the God. We are um, still and waiting patiently for Him. So, God, so guys, as you live out this week, I hope this is an encouragement to you to not fret or be envious of those who are doing evil. Trust in the Lord. Take delight in Him and what He has made in the world around us. Commit your ways and trust Him, and be still, and wait patiently. So when things come up, I hope Psalms 37 rings true in your life and in your mind and say, I need to still myself before the Lord before going forward. So let me pray for us. God, we just thank you for today. We thank you for the opportunities that we have to serve you each and every day. Father, help us to not let the world gnaw at us and gnaw away at our peace that we have in you and to gnaw away at our trust in you. But help us to renew our minds and our actions and our attitudes before you fresh each day. And thanks for loving us, God. We love you and thanks for walking with us. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Well, until next time.